As we're down here at the Black Tie event here in Lanzarote, I've got fight analyst, Sky Sports presenter, and ex WBO cruiserweight champion of the world, Johnny the Entertainer oh, Nelson. I have not heard the Entertainer name since 1990, since the Fox Carlos Delia, and leave it out. Um, <laughs> he uh, is an entertainer. I, I've seen all your interviews with Coogan Cassis. Now, yes. I know you've got some bromance going on yeah, there. Yeah, that, that's not bromance, more... that's a love hate relationship. It's so, uh, Coogie, if you're watching this, yeah. Remember. Yeah, actually, Coogie, if you're watching this, uh, let me be your Lanzarote man on the, <laughs> man on the ground your over translator. here. translator, yeah, that's yeah, right. That'd be good. Uh, anyway, Johnny, lovely to see you over in Lanzarote. First time here? You know what? What a beautiful island. It's actually my second time here. The first time I came here was after my first defence of the world title. I think it was in 2000. I boxed uh, Bruce Scott. Yes, I boxed, boxed Bruce Scott. I boxed him on the Saturday. Flew out here on the, uh, on the, on the Sunday. And it was just to get away from all the train and everything. It was nice and quiet. It was windy, but it was warm. And I kind of missed all the publicity after the fight. And it just took me out of the mix. Which was a nice, nice experience. And I thought, you know what? If you want a break, it's a place to go. And it just worked perfectly. It's changed so much this island yeah, now. Yeah, it's, it's developed so much, and I've forgotten how hot it is. Um, so I know it's a black tie event, but I thought, thank goodness, I didn't put my black tie jacket. Absolutely, on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's it. It's, it really has sort of um, shook off the lands of grotty image that it had uh, twenty years ago. Yeah, it's, it's classic. It's, it's classic. a fantastic island. Uh, have you had a chance to go down the champions' gym yet? Uh, I'm going to go tomorrow. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, obviously get through to tonight and then uh, uh, get to talk to the people, get them to ask questions. I'm really looking forward to this. And then, of course, get down to the champions' gym. I know uh, John has done an excellent job. I've known John for, for almost 20 years when he was a, a young, snotty kid when he came into the gym in, in Winkerman. I think he was 17 when I first met him. He was strong as an ox then. Yeah. He, he had he had a the, the Irish charm uh, and, and you know what he just we just clicked I've always liked him and he got in touch with me from here and as soon as he starts speaking with Jono where are you told me he was out here I said look I'm coming out and it's really good, it's really good I, mean, I mean you come out for a legend, uh, legendary gym and obviously John's trying to get this going over here we've had the likes of Cal Brook in front of Ventura yeah. uh, Terry Flanagan comes over here a yeah. lot for his jollies normally after a title defence let me, let me tell you this people don't understand yeah. I, I used to go to Grand Canary that one's only what 20 minute flight away yeah. Uh, to train for my fights and if you're training in the heat the hottest time of the day and you're training really hard you're doing your runs you're doing your sparring and you're outside it's what we did mm. by the time I go home to fight my energy levels were up there my, 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 my confidence levels were up there because you know well you, you live here so yeah. you get used to the heat but if you're coming out here and you start walking in, in the sun it makes you tired you think oh god I, you don't want to do anything you just think I'm too tired to do anything if you're training here for weeks upon weeks and then you go home Keep, this is so underrated yeah. so I'm saying to any any British fighters if you have the chance to get out here to train in the heat grab it with both hands because this will improve your your your, your, your performance your stamina uh, you, 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 you'll know when you're out you remember this conversation when you're in the middle of a sparring session in the heat and the sun's burning down and your feet are burning you're thinking god I'm shattered two or three weeks down the line then you go home and you, you spar you're flying it's yeah. the best thing to do. I think most fighters from a country like the UK should do that. And this guy really does know his business. Now, I know you're really busy, so I'm not going to keep you too long, but just there's a couple of huge fights coming up. I wanted to just get a prediction from you. Yep. I know your predictions used to be a little bit dodgy. <laughs> I, I've recently, done well this year. I've done really well this year. I've got one wrong. Say, um, first one up, of course, Liam Beefy Smith yeah. fighting Alvarez. How do you see that going? Listen, Alvarez, he's, he's, he's the only man that's beaten him, of course, is uh, Floyd Mayweather. He's got a tough fight. Uh, Liam Smith is very underrated. Uh, Liam Smith has the confidence. And those Smith boys, there's something special about them. Those boys can fight. I just think Alvarez may just have the edge on, on him. And I don't. And, and Ryan Rose was here who boxed Alvarez himself. And he that's said, it, yeah. Alvarez hit him in the second round in the body. He said he could still feel the shot in the 11th round. This man can punch you so, so hard. But then again, uh, uh, Amir Khan was doing so well against him. Amir Khan, I, to me, was ahead on points. And you did say if he could avoid the punch. Yeah, that's right. And, 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 but the, yeah. and if you look at the, the shot in slow motion, what Amir did was he stepped away for a quick second. He looked away, just to brush his nose. And as he looked up, that the was shot it. was on its way. And he thought, ah, good, boom, good gone. Yeah. Liam has to be on point. Uh, I don't think Liam's as fast as, as uh, Amir Khan. Uh, I think he does punch hard. Yeah, I, I do think he's tough. Uh, and I do think he's a cute fighter, but I do, I would go with Alvarez. I would tip Alvarez this one. And I can't let you go without mentioning uh, Triple G versus Kel. Brook. Yeah, well, I Kel's know my boy. Talking listen, about listen, it. everybody's heart says they, they want Kel to win because you know what? They know Kel. He thinks a great, a great uh, uh, 
uh, adventure for Carl and it's a big shout for him to, to, to take on a fight when nobody wanted to do. But trust me, if you think weight's going to be an issue, it is not. Carl will probably come in heavier than him and look, you think, wow, where's this come from? I'm surprised Kel can actually make welterweight, never mind the middleweight. I think he's more of a middleweight, stroke like middleweight than welterweight. That's number one. Number two, uh, I, I think uh, GGG is a banger. This man can hit for fun. It reminds me of Julian Jackson, the, the way oh. he ha- can, can create that power that from the shots. So, 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 yeah, so, so, so for, for Kel, he needs to jump on him. Jump on him quick because Kel will have the speed. Kel will have the movement. Kel have, uh, will have the ring freshness. So Kel has got to jump on him straight away. Do not let this man... Make you push you on your back foot. Matthew Macklin said it. Martin Murray said it. When he pushed him on the back foot, they said it was a no-win situation where they, if they'd done the right thing and jumped straight on him, then it makes it more even. If I was Kel, jump on him straight away. People think Kel's not got a chance. I give Kel a chance. I don't say he wins, but he's got a slim chance. And if anybody can do it, if you look on paper, Kel is the most qualified fighter to, to get in there with Gennady Golovkin so far. Yeah. The only thing that's against him is that way. Kelly's on Britain, the unbeaten welterweight champion. This boy, he, he's a world, official world champion. He's gone in there and put a lot on the line for this fight. So you've got to give this man his dues. And you know, a fighter can always tell when a fighter's hustling and BSing his way through the conversation when he's saying, yeah, I'll win, I'll win. Kel really believes yeah. he'll win this fight. And that's what's most important. Not what I think, what do you, not what you think, what the, not what the general public, what Kel thinks. And if Kel really believes in it, belief is everything. Yeah. Uh, with that, Johnny's really busy. Johnny uh-huh. Nelson, it's been an absolute pleasure catching up with you tonight. Enjoy the rest of your stay in Lanzarote. Thanks for more on. See you later.